So let's talk about work energy and uh, power. So I have a question which is saying a child start from the top of the slide of height 5 meters if he reaches the bottom with a speed of 8 meters per second what percentage of his energy at the top of the slide has been lost as a result of friction I read the question again a child starts from the top of a slide of height 5 meters if he reaches the bottom with a speed of 8 meters per second what percentage of his energy at the top of the slide has been lost as a result of friction now we need first to understand this is an incline plane we can see that the question is saying a child start from the top of a slide meaning it is an incline we are talking about the incline here we have been told that this child is here This child is riding in that direction. Okay, the height we have been told that is five meters, like that. The velocity, meaning the velocity from the top here, the velocity at this point, I'll call this point as point A, that point to point B. So the velocity at point A, which is going to be, is going to be zero. The initial velocity is zero, but the velocity at B is the one we have been told that is eight meters per second. Now I can clearly see that I want to find the percentage of the energy which was being lost due to friction. How can I find that? I need first to find the initial mechanical energy and the final mechanical energy. So I need to say the mechanical the initial mechanical energy minus the final mechanical energy that is going to be the energy which was being lost due to friction. What do I mean? We know that this is now non-conservative force. Non-conservative force, energy is not conserved. Because of friction, some energy is going to be lost. If this was conservation of energy, the energy which I have at point A is supposed to be the same energy I'm supposed to have at point B. But because there is friction, it's non-conservation of energy. So the energy which I'm going to have at point B has to be less than the energy I have at point A. Okay, so what do we mean? I have to find initially the mechanical energy at point A. I have oh, mechanical energy is the addition of kinetic energy at point A plus potential energy at point A. Since the kinetic the velocity is zero, I don't expect to have kinetic energy at point A. So the mechanical energy initial is going to be equal to mgh. This M I don't have, G is 9.8, H is 5. So I expect my mechanical energy initial to be 9.8 times 5, which is 49, 49M joules. M is the mass which I don't have. What of the mechanical energy fine, which is at point B? It's as a result of potential energy at point B plus kinetic energy at point B I don't have kinetic energy I don't sorry I don't have potential energy at point B so this will be cancelled so I'll only have kinetic energy like that which is going to be half mv squared half m I don't know v is 8 squared so 8 squared divided by two okay eight squared divided by two thirty two thirty two m joules because I don't have m in that case initially we can say that the potential energy at a is the same as that one forty nine point so that is the initial mechanical energy so the initial mechanical energy is equal to 49 m joules then the initial the mechanical energy at point b which is the final mechanical energy is 32 m joules initially if this was conservation of energy get it right there if this was conservation of energy the mechanical energy at b was supposed to find 49 mj as well 
but because there is force which was there the friction force some energy was lost due to friction to find the energy which was being lost due to friction is the mechanical energy initial which is at a minus mechanical energy at b so it is 49 mj minus that's 2 mj so energy lost will be equal to our 49 minus 32 which is 17 17 mj like that now to find we know that the total energy which we have it is the initial mechanical energy which is 49 uh, mj the question is what percentage we have found the energy which was being lost which is 17 to find the percentage so you say the percentage of the energy which was being lost I'll put it here percentage of energy lost is equal to the energy which was being lost so I'll say energy lost I divide it by the total energy which is the mechanical energy at point A times 100 so if I continue from here I'll say 17 mj divided by 49 mj times 100 percent so since I don't have m m and m can go j and j can go so I'll have 17 divided by 49 the answer I'm getting times 100 so I'm getting the answer to be 34.69 which is 34.7 percent so the energy which was being lost due to friction is 34.7 percent okay sometimes if you don't want to use this formula the best way you can go is uh, after finding I need to find what we call I'm going to use the the, the formula for non-conservation of energy non-conservation of energy the formula is the mechanical energy at point A will be equal to the mechanical energy at point B plus the work done by friction so the work done by friction is the one I want to find so I'll say mechanical energy at point A at point A the only energy I have is potential energy at point B the only energy I have is kinetic energy so I'll say this is going to be at A then that is at B plus the work done the work done by friction the reason why this formula is plus the work done by friction because if I add the work done by friction plus the final mechanical energy it's going to give me the initial mechanical energy so this is m g h is equal to half m v squared plus work done by friction now I can plug in the values so I have m g is 9.8 h is 5 half m I don't know v is a 8 squared like that plus work done by friction this is going to give me 49 49 m this will be 32 m plus work done by friction shift this to the other side to be 49 m minus 32 m which will be equal to the work done by friction so if I do 49 minus 32 17 so I have 17 m but the form the SINs are yours so the work done by friction is 17 m joules like that then we know that the total is supposed to be the mechanical energy so I'll say the initial mechanical energy I'll say the percentage will be equal to the energy which was being lost is the work done by friction so I'll say the work done by friction divided by the mechanical energy initial at point A times 100 percent so I'll have this is 17 mj the mechanical energy is the potential energy which we found that it was 49 mj 49 mj times 100 percent 
if I do the math, I'll get 34.69, which is 34.7%. So that is it for this question.